Join us as we explore medical frontiers. Spinal cord injuries reportedly affect around 20 million people worldwide. While robot equipment, the latest technology, have improved the effectiveness of rehabilitation, new challenges have emerged, including patients discontinuing their robot-assisted therapies prematurely. Today, we're going to delve into the efforts of a team seeking to develop rehabilitation methods that align with the patient's feelings and their needs. In 2013, Otsuka Hiroyuki suffered a cervical spine injury while at work. Spinal cord injuries can cause incomplete or complete paralysis. In Otsuka's case, he experienced significant loss of function in his right leg and his right hand was paralyzed. However, he retained mobility on his left side and was diagnosed with incomplete paralysis. Otsuka felt the limitations of walking with a brace and crutches and gradually shifted to a wheelchair. He relied on it for nine years after his accident. Rehabilitation after a spinal cord injury is divided into three stages. The first two weeks are called the acute stage. Two weeks to six months after the injury is the recovery stage, and anything beyond that is the chronic stage. Traditionally, it was believed that rehabilitation becomes less effective when a patient reaches the chronic stage. However, this belief is now being challenged by robotic rehabilitation. In 2022, Otsuka learned of a facility specializing in such therapy and went for a consultation. The facility was established by rehabilitation doctor Chin Takaaki, who has been treating people with walking disabilities for over 30 years. This footage shows Otsuka during his first visit to the facility. Even while holding on to the parallel bars, he could barely support his weight with his less affected left leg. Although he managed to move his right leg forward, relying on his hip joint, he could not plant it firmly on the floor. His walking speed was extremely slow, a stark contrast from what is considered normal. However, Chin was optimistic. So, Dr. Chin, thank you so much for your time today. It's a great pleasure to have you on the program. So, in that case, why did you think that assisted rehab would be effective for him? ただですね、ま、大塚さん自身が脊髄損傷の不全麻痺、ま、完全麻痺でなかったということですね。私自身のま、直感でしかないんですけど、まだ、ま、ロボットを使えばいけるんじゃないかと思う風に、ま、一応
The tool used for this purpose was a Japanese-made rehabilitation device called HAL. When a person attempts to walk, the brain sends a signal via the nerves to the muscles to command the movement. The signal appears very faintly on the skin surface. The device detects it through sensors, which are attached to the paralyzed leg. Based on this signal, the device assists with voluntary leg movements. It establishes a connection between brain signals and leg movements. Repeated use is meant to activate weakened neural pathways. Otsuka underwent rehabilitation using this device twice a week. This footage is from his first session. <laughs> Otsuka was able to walk without using his arms to support his weight. This is Otsuka three weeks later. His walking speed has increased significantly. This shows Otsuka before he began rehabilitation with this device. Initially, with his knee locked in a brace, he could only walk 34 meters in six minutes. But after three months of using HAL, he was able to walk 132 meters in the same amount of time. This is four times his earlier speed. Chin believes the device helped Otsuka to regain the sensation of walking, leading to a smoother swing of his right leg and a faster walking speed. Rehabilitation using the Japanese-made device HAL has been introduced in 19 countries and one region, including the U.S. and Germany, with reports of successful results. German professor Thomas Schildhauer has been using it since 2013 in the rehabilitation of over 340 patients, including those in the acute phase. At the beginning, we were just uh, hoping that we can get patients up to walk when they wear the robot. However, we saw not only that these patients became better in walking with the exoskeleton, but also without the exoskeleton. And that we saw in all our chronic spinal cord injury patients. So these patients were sitting in the wheelchair more than a year and up to 19 years. Some patients were 19 years in a wheelchair and they started to walk again. And that is a revolution. It was just incredible to see the transition患者さんthere are challenges linked to this device. Its use requires support from medical professionals with specialized knowledge, making it difficult for patients to access the technology after leaving the hospital. 
It is also costly and can only be used in indoor, barrier-free settings. In Chin's research, all 18 individuals who underwent rehabilitation with the device showed improved walking function. Two of them recovered enough to be able to walk independently in their daily lives. The remaining 16 patients went back to using wheelchairs after leaving the hospital. This is Olska after completing three months of rehabilitation with the device. Even with crutches, his paralyzed right leg's knee shakes, making it impossible to support his weight. To prevent this, he needs to keep his knee locked in a brace. However, this brace results in an unnatural way of walking that strains his body. Chin began exploring ways to improve the walking function revived by the Japanese-made device to a level that was suitable for daily life. After a long search, he learned of a German-made robotic device called the C-Brace. It uses multiple sensors to detect real-time information, such as the angle, direction, and speed of the knee. This information is conveyed to the hydraulic cylinder. When the right foot lands on the ground, the cylinder applies resistance to the right knee joint to prevent it from giving way. As the knee tilts forward and extends, indicating that the foot is leaving the ground, the cylinder releases the resistance, allowing the knee to bend. When the right foot swings forward, Resistance is applied to the knee to prepare for landing. This enables stable and smooth walking. After three months of rehabilitation with the Japanese device, Otsuka began a new training program using the German-made device. This was the world's first trial of its kind. つけた初日の平行棒 after seven days of using the German device, Otsuka was able to walk with crutches. And after 11 days of this therapy, he successfully strolled outside. The Japanese device had helped him to recover the hip joint movements necessary for walking. And with effective knee joint support from the German device, he became able to walk outdoors. While using two different devices may sound like a simple idea, it resulted in a significant improvement in Otsuka's walking ability. Otsuka can now walk without crutches. He can even navigate steps and uneven surfaces. Oh, Otsuka regained his ability to walk nine years after his accident. His life changed dramatically after leaving the hospital. He now leads a busy life as the chair of a local para powerlifting association, traveling around the country independently to compete. <laughs> I 
、まあ、お世話になった方もたくさんいますし、恩返しというか、社会貢献とかも含めて、あのしっかりあの今後、生きていきたいなと思います。Are there any other patients that have had that success in? Hi, Genza, Otsuka san, I got any two, well, K, three, no, kata, in, tai, this, double robot, to, 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 to だからやっぱり最後はロボットを使うからにはそこまで到達するレベルを目指さないといけないなと思いますね。The staff at the rehabilitation center provides support to ensure patients can keep using robotic devices, which are costly to purchase and maintain on their own. 装具を作るにあたって高額になるので。使える制度っていうのを全部使った方がいいので、あの入院までにまあ、病院の方で調べておきますということを言っていただいたんですけど、まあ、今までの経験上そういうことを言ってくれる病院はなかったし、まあ、入院期間中にいろんな患者さんと知り合うんですけど、まあ一人一人の同じように対応してたので、やっぱ前例がないとなかなか受け入れてもらえない。それはやっぱり。一つ一つ積み重ねるしかないんじゃないかなと思いますけどね。一足、まあ、一足飛びロボットが、まあ、社会に受け入れられて、誰もがロボットを享受できる時代にが一足飛びに来るとは思わないです。そういう世界を作るために努力しないといけないと思いますけどね。Chin's team is also dedicating efforts to another field of rehabilitation, robotic hand training for children born without hands or arms. Robotic hands work like the Japanese device HAL. They detect myoelectric signals generated by the muscles and translate them into the finger movements, allowing the user to grasp objects. The high rate of prosthesis rejection among children has posed a significant challenge. A survey in Canada found that 48.8% of children who began rehabilitation at age two or older rejected them. For those who started before they turned two, 16.6% stopped using the device. Well, our approach is a big merit. The drop-out rate is a big merit. The drop-out rate is a big merit. The drop-out rate is a big merit. 2歳以下、まあ0歳ですねから訓練を行ったお子さんのドロップアウト率はゼロパーセントです。ゼロ。ゼロ。Wow, that's incredible. Chin's team has trained 93 children in 22 years. Among those who started at the age of two or later, 14.9 percent stopped using the device. But among those who began before they turned two, the rejection rate has been zero. Ten-year-old Fujimoto Haruto is fond of his robotic hand, featuring his favorite baseball team's logo. He was born without fingers on his left hand. 幼稚園に入ってからやっぱり周りと違うっていうのが自分がわかるようになってきて、なんで自分が手がないんだってどうにかできないかっていうのはちょっと本人が泣いて結構訴えてきて。Haruto began training to use a pediatric myoelectric hand when he was five. Because there is no facility that provides this training nearby, Haruto has made seven hour round trips to the hospital for the past five years to attend regular appointments. At the hospital, each child is assigned a dedicated therapist. In some cases, the care continues into adulthood. Well, 
Whether children will continue to use myoelectric hands depends heavily on when they start training. ゼロ歳児から始めるとですね、筋電義手は実はロボット異物ですけども、自分の体の一部として認識して使うことができるんですね。ゼロ歳児からやっちゃうと。で一方、二歳以降から訓練したお子さんは筋電義手はやっぱり道具として使うんですよ。In short, the later the training begins, the more likely it is for children to see the hand as inconvenient and stop using it. Chin's team provides thorough support so that children find their robotic hands comfortable and easy to use. Using social media, they set up a helpline for the children and their families. This helpline offers detailed advice to address the minor worries the kids encounter at school or elsewhere. She asked the therapist for help. He recommended using a tool rather than trying to hold them directly. She came up with the idea to use clothespins to hold the nails. It gives therapists great motivation when children feel a sense of achievement. そこも何もってね、財産ですね。はい。だこの洗濯ばさみはおそらく、僕らのノウハウが増えちゃうね。一個。まあ、ご家族から教えてもらってね。<笑>まあ、そういうもんです。だから。もう、これも、もう、これが小学生みんなに提案はできるかなと思います。<笑>チンズチーム hopes to expand the support system to cater to the changing needs of the children as they grow. It's essential to focus efforts on providing rehabilitation that is specifically tailored to a patient's needs rather than relying solely on robot capabilities. And there are hopes that in the future there'll be more collaboration with researchers around the world. To promote patient centered robotic rehabilitation. Mindfulness, derived from Zen, is a good way to relieve mental and physical stress. Today, we will learn easy ways to practice mindfulness from Kawano Taishu. A psychiatrist who is also the head priest at a Zen temple with a history of over 600 years. あの私の中では Zen や mindfulness というものは生活の中に根付いてこそ意味があるものだというふうにまあ古来から教えられていてそのことを大切にしています。海外でプログラム化された mindfulness のメディテーションはかなり長時間の瞑想を毎日やることを必要としますけれども。より Usually, zazen or seated meditation involves sitting cross-legged with eyes half closed for 30 to 40 minutes. But Kawano says that even just one minute is beneficial. First, sit on a small cushion with your back straight. You can also use a chair. Just make sure you sit on the edge with your legs slightly apart. Face forward and focus your eyes on a spot on the floor two to three meters away. The key is to focus on your breathing. 特に意図的に呼吸をコントロールすることはしないで、自然に息が出たり入ったりするのを。
体が膨らんだりしぼんだりする中で感じます雑念つまり別の考えが湧いても自分を責めたり瞑想がうまくできていないと考えるのではなくてただまた注意を体の膨らみとしぼみに戻せば結構です You know, in English, sometimes we call it a monkey mind.、Right. The, the mind is so incredibly busy. We're thinking of all of these things that we have to do.、はい、ううのの the monkey mind is a monkey mind. The monkey mind セルフアクセプタンスを高めてくれるそしてそれはセルフコンパッションを高めてくれるというふうにだんだんと自分に優しさが戻ってくるんですねそれが日々の瞑想習慣の意味じゃないかと私は思います川野 believes that it's possible to eliminate distracting thoughts through household chores he especially recommends meditating while cleaning Wow, so you're doing it actually really quickly. I would have imagined that you would have done it really slowly. So, in the Zen, 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 the 目の前にあるものをきれいにしていくとそうした考えも洗い清められていくっていうのが大切な教えなんですねどうぞ使ってください、okay, put... <笑> Start slowly focusing only on the action and the sensation in your hands This will help you to gradually eliminate unwanted thoughts You can also practice lazy meditation while shining shoes. Kawano says that engaging in simple, repetitive household chores like dishwashing can also reduce stress. こうした家事を取り入れるっていうのは、日頃やっていることを丁寧にやるだけですからね。手軽だし、また自分を大切にすることにもつながるしということで、生活のどんな行動に対しても瞑想が存在しうるというふうに。Thank you so much. Thank 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 you so much. Th